Live from across Northern California, this is Good Day. What is Bitcoin? Are you confused as I am? Or you know what it is? Nope. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got Greg Hanna, our tech expert here. Hi, Greg. Hey, how you doing, Tina? Good, all the way from Boston here. And you're going to break it down Ooh. and kind of define some of this for those of us who are like in the dark, don't know at all what Bitcoin is and how it works. So can you define it? Well, Bitcoin is a cryptocurrency or a digital currency. And, you know, there are lots of other digital currencies, just like there are dollars, euros and pounds. There are Bitcoins, Litecoins and Ethereum. And Bitcoin is considered to be the gold standard for these digital currencies. Okay, okay, so what, you have some notes here that you gave me. It's like, uh, Bitcoin today is worth what in gold? Well, 21 ounces, which is amazing. You know, like gold, Bitcoin has a marketplace whose value changes day to day, both up and down. Oh, okay, and, okay. Yeah, yeah. And how many and, and, Bitcoins are in circulation? Well, you know, there are 19 million Bitcoins today, 18.7, but 19 million today, and Bitcoin is limited. There are only going to be 21 million total Bitcoins ever available. Oh, I see, I see. But you don't have to buy a Bitcoin because you can buy a piece of a Bitcoin, which is called a what? A uh, Satoshi. You no, know, just like gold is sold in ounces, Bitcoin is sold in Satoshis, which is 100 millionth of a Bitcoin, which is a very uh, small slice. Oh, I had that for dessert last night. Okay, okay, <laughs> so then uh, you said also a dollar invested in Bitcoin back in 2010. How long has it been around, by the way? Well, Bitcoin's been around, you know, since 2006, 2007. Oh, okay. And, you know, a dollar invested in 2010 would be worth over 49,000 today. 49,000 today? $49,000. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Okay, so yeah, I, I, I I think we wanted to know what it was because a lot of people talk about it and they, you know, it's just like a buzzword right now and we have no clue. Courtney wants to know, what do you do with it? <laughs> well, you know, you, you keep it safe on a wallet. You can also use it to buy stuff. You know, you can buy hotel visits. You can buy tickets to the basketball game. Okay. You, know, you can even buy cars. Oh, okay. So it's like an invisible credit card in somewhat. Yeah, absolutely. You can think about about it like an invisible credit card. Oh. That's a terrific example. You know, well, you one day people say Bitcoin might be worth a million dollars per coin. Oh, oh, hello, hello. <laughs> well, thanks, Greg, for breaking it down for us. We appreciate that. And if you uh, want any more information from Greg, what's your website? Well, you can hit me at www.tossc3.com. And Tina, I just have to say, I love Bitcoin. I love pets. I love people. But most of all, I love tech. Tech. There you go. All right. Thank you. Back over to you. Thanks, T.